Hi, my name's Donna Kelly. I'm a real estate agent with CM Fox. Also, I'm on the Jamie Mazurik Homes team. And I'm about to share with you a video of a listing I have, 87 Craven Road, Delance in New York. I want you to know that it's actually in the town of Knox. It is contingent on a sale of 2.31 acres for a total of 18.18 acres. Now, it's all ready to go. Both landowners had the survey done, the town knows about it. All we have to do is get a buyer, have you purchase the property, yeah, purchase the property, and then the town signs off on the lot line adjustment. And if you look at my MLS listing, you will see the survey of the lot line adjustment. So you know that everybody's on board and it's all going in the right direction. So for $225,000, you can have an amazing place to live. Please check out my video. So I'm at 87 Craven Road. This is the home site. There's 15.87 acres. And because of the way they wanted their home site done on this 15 acres, they had a lot line adjustment with the next door neighbor for 2.31 acres. So see that vehicle over there? That is a septic. This land is improved land. It's not just vacant land. So what does that mean? That means that this lot is ready to build a house right here where I'm standing. As soon as those two lots are merged, it's already set with the town, it's ready to go. We just need to sell this piece of property and have you build your home. So what the sellers did is they had electric, and I'll go over there and show you. This is the electric for the property. The current owners had this brought in. It's been permitted and ready to go. All the electrician has to do is run the electricity to the house site I just showed you. Behind the electric is this frost-free pump, or hydrant is what it's really called. And that goes to the well, which I'll show you in a minute. The well has a new well pump. The well was dug or drilled before the current owners bought this property. The owners also put on a post and beam barn, which I'll show you the inside in just a minute but there is heating and there is electricity in there. So while you're working on getting your house installed in the lot I showed you, you'll have a nice comfortable place to hang out. Here's the wellhead. It's only about 50 feet from the road and there's a path that leads back over to the post and beam barn, which when I show you, you're going to love. So here's the electric at the post and beam barn. Why don't I just call it a barn, everybody? It might be easier, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It has a cement slab. This door slides open from the other side. They started to put in a loft area. Well, I should say there is one on this side, if you look up. So the current owner was going to work in here. You might imagine he's a woodworker of some sort. There's your heat, there's your windows. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a great place to stay while you're building your new home. Very comfy. There's a door there. That was probably, maybe they're gonna put a porch out there. It's insulated. And again, it's just beautiful. And that comes with the price, right? So not only do you get 18 acres, almost 19 acres of land, you get this beautiful barn with heat and electricity. I mean, you can't beat it. This is the front of the barn with the sliding doors that I told you about. It's a great place. 225,000, you get all of this for 18 acres. So often I see 50 acres. You don't know if there's water. You don't know how much it's going to cost to put in a driveway or a septic. It's nuts. All of it's done for you. Everything's permitted. 
All you have to do is put in the house. Okay, let's check it all off. We talked about this home lot. We talked about the barn. We talked about the electricity. We talked about the water. We didn't talk about the septic. That's up here. All the sand is in. The perk test has been done. They have the plans. The gravel's there. You just need the tank. Put in your leach field, which again has all the sand. That's expensive. Perk test has been done. Probably expired, but you can get another one. I mean, look at this place. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's a big stone wall that runs all along this back edge. I'm going to go over that stone wall and show you what the other 10 acres looks like. So here we are, right in the big field where the majority of the land is. See this wood right here? Underneath it, although you can't tell, there's a small stream. And if you look at the photos on the listing, you'll see it runs right through here and around. It's very slim, but at one point, there was a beaver dam. And as you might imagine, beavers make a dam, all the water floods around the land. So it was called out for wetlands. A survey was done in 2016. A new survey can be done at any time. It's all dry now. It's just this one little stream. The beaver dam was abandoned by the beavers, probably because the stream wasn't big enough. And uh, as time does, it erodes things and the beaver dam went away. So here we have this beautiful piece of property. It goes back there. See those pines way back there? That's the edge of the property. So you still have some trees there, trees way over that way. And my hand takes the focus away. I'm sorry, guys. And then out that way where you see the yellow, the barns over there, there's a, a beautiful stone wall that I came over. I just followed the deer track. Now there's a stream. What can you do? You can mow this. You can bird watch. Maybe you can have some livestock. I don't really know the wetland rules, but you can find out. DC has a website. So all together you'd have the 15.87 acres, the 2.31 you need for a buffer. That's why you need the 2.3. It's a buffer for the septic system because where the people, the sellers chose to put the house which was the best spot on the land, they needed the septic behind the house because they wanted the house to face towards the barn, towards the east, so they got the sunrise. And as I said, $225,000, you get all this acreage, everything's done for you already. The driveways, the septic, the water, the electric. All you have to do is put your house in, put a septic tank in, and enjoy this beautiful piece of property. I mean, honestly, where else are you gonna go and have this peace and quiet, be so close to nature? You're only a few miles from 88. And the one thing I really forgot to mention, cell reception. It's so often I'm trudging along on different hiking trails and land, and I don't have any cell reception. Here, AT&T, Verizon, you name it. You got it, cell reception. Check out this property. You're gonna love it. So what am I looking at here? I'm in that field. See that deer here? This is where a deer laid and went to sleep. I mean, you can't get better than this. It's just amazing. Now here's that stream I told you about. You can see it a little bit better. So. We did have some furry friends. They would have a place to drink. Yep, it's a beautiful spot, folks. Come on over. Here we are, back at the home site. Yep, this is where your house would go. Your septic would be over here. It's almost completed. Again, it has the sand. It's had a perk test. Passed. Then you have your 
stone already here. You just need to get the septic tank. Two driveways. Electric. Well, hydrant, a barn with electricity and heat and all this beautiful land. Imagine the trails you could put in here, the wildlife you could see, have a cup of coffee. If this was where your house is, right where I'm standing right now, you have a deck, screened in porch. Oh my God, all yours, 225,000, ready to go. Put that house in, electric is permitted, water's ready to go, septic's three quarters of the way done. And every morning you can get up, have this view, all four seasons. Hope to see you soon.